hey guys it's me martha welcome back to my channel so today i'm filming finally filming my one year part interview um in response to my last year's one year part interview so you guys are probably wondering martha why are you so late um a lot of things happened and i did actually film the one year part interview when it was time but i will say like i'm all for being transparent on the internet but it was really depressing. I was in a really sad place and as I was er, grading it, I was, as I was editing it, I was watching it and I was like, I was like, this is not making good content. This is not a good video. Like here I am and I'm filming it in a much better place. So we're just gonna start. Um, so I'm gonna put last year's, an I'm gonna put the question, last year's answer and then this year's answer. So let's get into it. It is February 1st, 2023. Today is April 12th, 2024, so I'm a little, a little late. I am 15 years old. I am 17 years old, guys. That's crazy. I'm a sophomore in high school. Um, okay guys, I did not film the answer to this one, so here I am um, editing it while I'm at my real job. I'm, I'm a junior in high school. <laughs> I am not in a relationship and I do not have a crush. I'm not in a relationship. Not in a relationship, guys. I'm single. No, I'm just kidding. Um, not in a relationship. I do like somebody though, so. Let's go to YouTube and see my subscriber count, you guys. I currently have 17,565. Which I have guys. <laughs> my sub count went down i have 17.4k subscribers now so whoever is unsubscribed on instagram i have like 1300 followers okay guys um i don't want to stop the video my instagram won't load so this is my account that i did last year that's the number now and this is my following on my personal account um so i'll have that for next year on YouTube and just get that rolling, get that going, and do something fun. Be successful, maybe. Um, I have a lot of fun things happening this year. I just want to grow and, you know, become the best version of myself. I know it's very cliche, but I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I am growing up. I'm 17, I think. You know, maintain my happiness. Um, hopefully, good people come into my life and maintain good friendships and all of that stuff. So those are my those are my goals for the year. My favorite memory from the past year. Um probably there's this camp called Soul Quest. Um it's in a small town in Nebraska and it's like a church camp. So that was probably my favorite memory. I have a very specific favorite memory you guys. So it was in October and I went to the pumpkin patch with three of my really good friends at the time. After the pumpkin patch, we went to Olive Garden, which if you guys don't know, I love Olive Garden. And I just remember I was sitting there, you know, and I remember just thinking like, I just felt so happy and so content in that moment. Um, so I think that was my favorite memory in the past year, that specific moment, sitting in Olive Garden with three of my best friends at the time. Like, it was just, it was just like a very, a good moment for me personally. Um, you know, a lot of things, a lot of good things are happening in 2023, I feel like. I met the Cerniella triplets, so that was, like, what I was most excited for. I'm going to see Taylor Swift in two months and Soul Quest because I love Soul Quest. And I'm going to see Louis Tomlinson in, like, five months. Um, there's a lot of good things going on this year. Again, like last year, I had, I have a lot of concerts. Um, I just got tickets to Noah Khan, Josier, Nal Horan. There's a lot of great things happening. I'm looking forward to camps. Um, hopefully I'm gonna take some trips this summer and I just, I'm just really looking forward to seeing what the year brings me and being able to look at next year's self, look back on this year and hopefully a whole bunch has changed because again, my life has completely changed from last year um, and I'm so thankful for that. One, you're gonna be absolutely taken aback. You're gonna be baffled about uh, the way our life is going and who your friends are because you don't know any of them yet and you just need to stop trying to be someone who you aren't just be yourself and know that 
the people who are meant to be your friends will be your friends for being yourself, if that makes sense. Again, like last year's answer, you're not gonna believe where your life has taken you. If really, honestly, if I could go back and tell my February 2023 self, if I could give her an update on everything that's happened, she'd probably cry, she'd probably laugh, she'd probably give me a high five. There'd just be a lot of things. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell her to change anything because I think I'm very happy with how my life has turned out. But I would just tell her to like make good decisions, I guess. <laughs> um, keep making good decisions, make better ones. I don't know. Um, I'm doing pretty well currently. There's a lot of good things going in my life, but that doesn't mean I can't be sad sometimes, but I'm pretty good. Like scale one to 10, I'm probably like a eight. But right now, if I were to rate my happiness, I'm probably like a seven out of 10. There's always lots of room for improvement, um, but I am very thankful with how my happiness is right now. Uh, my whole life, my favorite movie has been Back to the Future. Um, but currently, Elvis is my favorite movie. Um, I've seen that stupid movie like 20 times. Favorite movie is still Elvis or Back to the Future. I'm, I'm a, like, once I have a favorite thing, it's very hard for it to change. Um, so yeah, I, I love those. Oh wait, La La Land is really good too. I watched that last year. Um, that's a pretty good movie. Let's go to Spotify. Spotify. Last song I played, West Coast Collective, Dominic Fike. The last song I played was Northern Attitude by Noah Kahn and Hosier, the one combined. What did I do last year that I never did before? Um, I honestly can't think of anything. I did a lot of things this year um, that I've never done. Um, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I did a lot, like, guys, I got my license, I got a car, um, I made some amazing friends. I think there's a, there's a lot of things that I could say that I did this last year. I think this last year was like a very pivotal year for me personally. And not telling people how I feel, um, not like, you could take that so many ways and probably all the ways you're taking it are true. I try not to live like, like right now where I'm at, I'm trying not to live like regretting any decision I've made. So I can't say that I regret anything. I think I would wanna, you know, make sure I really like tell people how much they're appreciated, tell people they're loved, how much I appreciate them for being in my life. I think, you know, just being 100% transparent, honest. But I think I can say that about every year because there's always gonna be times where I am too scared to tell someone how I really feel. So I think like, I'll probably say the same thing next year, but I am trying not to live in regret. I think everything happens for a reason. So I don't regret anything. I think everything is made out to be good in the end. So I think every decision I've made has been the right decision. I actually have no piercings. My ears are not pierced. Like I have no tattoos, no piercings. I'm probably not gonna get any tattoos, you guys, but I have no piercings. Um, but no, I don't have any piercings. I'm hoping to get some this summer. Um, so maybe next year I'll have a few. I don't know. I don't really think I'm gonna do anything special. I just have like, probably I'll get my ears pierced because these are clip-ons. I'm gonna like put like emojis on the screen and those are gonna be code for specific people in my life right now. And I'm gonna know what they mean, but you guys won't. So that way like the people I'm talking about don't know what them. Are these people still in your life? And if not, who of them still are? Asking my future self something, I'm gonna answer my, my past self first. These people are the ones that you asked if they were still in your life, these like emojis for people. These are the people that are now still in your life. So there's the difference on those two uh, things. I guess next year I could ask the same question, same little emoji code. So are these people still in your life, uh, Martha? And she can answer that for me next year. I'm gonna ask my future self and she'll know what I mean is, did it work out? She knows what I mean. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry it was so late. I filmed a video, but then I was like, I'm not posting it. So trust me, it was for the benefit of you guys. I'm trying to get to be filming more, but I can't make promises because that's what I said last year. I had I had a whole bunch of stuff happen last year. I just couldn't make videos. There was too much going on. So I also like decorated my room. I uh, got some vines up there, pictures of my friends. 
yeah, my bed's a little messy, but I redecorated my room, so anyway um please comment down below what video if you have any video like ideas that you'd want me to see um if you want to see videos with my friends a little q a if you want my friends to ask me questions like really anything hopefully i'll see you guys soon um i'll try to make a post at least once in the next month so just keep a lookout i love you all Mwah. thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video i don't know if i'm ready guys Okay, so, um, I don't know if I like done when I took my hair by my ears. <laughs> so, volume up. Guys, am I gonna get copyrighted for this? It's like trash, don't look at that. Literally have to leave my house in one minute. Like, I've made this video so fast, so if my, um, if my humor wasn't like completely on par, that's why. A check. And my white collars. So, bye guys. Ignore all the trash in my room.